First-time competitor University of Wisconsin Stout beat three former national champs to claim the 2010 Rube Goldberg Machine Contest. The team of future teachers schooled the largest ever national Rube field with a tightly crafted ancient Egyptian-themed machine. As technology educators, we've actually done it in classes, but on a much smaller scale. So, you know, we got our fingers wet in the spirit of Rube Goldberg. Now let's, like, blow this up. This year's machines were required to dispense sanitizer into a hand. Successful teams invest thousands of man hours and hundreds of dollars. We had meat raffles. I don't know if you ever heard of that. How we uh, buy up, buy like a half a cow of steaks and roast and such. Yeah, we had a big paddle wheel and we were raffling off meat. It was, oh, it was a hoot. The 2009 national champions from Minnesota's St. Olaf College claimed second place with three flawless runs of a medieval themed machine. It's not that we don't necessarily do the same things that engineers do. We just maybe do it in a different light because we're not so analytical. And I like to think we take perhaps a more creative approach to it. The home team was unable to return to 2008 championship form with its bold rube themed machine with big steps and big mishaps. What happened today? A successfully awesome failure that is beautiful. Captain Zach Umperovich vows to be back in 2011. I, it has been really worth it. I mean, I love what I do. I love doing this. I do it for the entertainment. I do it for the fun. I do it for Purdue. At Purdue University, I'm Jim Shank.